Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 in the latest Hyper Pink Lightning Storm colorway. Now inside the box they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is pink in color with pink strings. You're going to find your Nike football branding on one side and a black Nike swoosh on the other. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So I'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at this extremely bright colorway of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 4. So in today's video, we are of course gonna be taking a closer detailed look at the colorway itself, going over all of the tech specs and performance features that you should know about in regards to the Superfly 4, as well as talk about how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to click the very first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website, where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $275 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, as you guys can see, these things are extremely bright. It features hyper pink with a black accent color and a blue sole plate, which I think looks pretty cool. Not crazy about the bright pink personally. It's not that I don't think it looks good. It's just not something that I would personally like to wear. A little bit too flashy for me personally, but um, that's something that, again, everybody kind of has to decide for themselves. I know a lot of people really like these bright colorways, but let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. So you're gonna find that the Nike skin covering is solid in color, and it is definitely the more vibrant shade of pink that you're gonna find on this shoe. Um, the exposed flyknit areas have a little bit of orange mixed in with that pink color, and it's not quite as bright as the Nike skin covered areas. The mid layer of that flyknit material is black, so when you kind of pull the ankle collar apart as well as the middle part, it reveals some of that black um, within the flyknit, which is kind of a cool little detail. Pink laces, of course. You have the black ring at the top, the black mercurial branding going across the back. Um, of course, the Nike swoosh on the front and back is just a black outline, which I think looks pretty cool. ACC branding in black and then moving on to the sole plate. It is of course your standard carbon fiber, but it does have that nice blue tint to it, which I think is a really nice touch. And then of course the studs are translucent pink. Some of them are more pink, some of them are more of a violet purple color, which again, I think looks pretty cool. Big fan of the sole plate, not so much the brightness of the upper, but again, everyone has their own opinions. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. Do you love how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. When it comes to performance, the Superfly 4 is a pretty well-proven shoe at this point, and this colorway is no different than all of the previous ones. It features a one-piece fly-knit upper um, with, of course, that mid-cut design. The collar kind of is there more for looks as well as to provide a certain type of feel, but really offers no performance benefit. It wraps your ankle, gives you that sensation of the shoe flowing onto your foot as opposed to being something strapped to your foot. But like I said, it doesn't really offer anything in the way of support and certainly doesn't restrict any ankle movement either. In regards to the upper, the part that is covered in Nike skin is gonna be a lot more structured than the collar, which is more of an elasticated variety of fly knit. Um, because it is more structured, you're gonna find that it's actually surprisingly responsive while still maintaining a very sock-like sensation on your foot. It, of course, does have that tight kind of one-to-one -one fit, um, which you would expect from any Mercurial model. Um, and to create a decent support, what they've done is they've fused on an internal support cage, as well as incorporated Brio cables within the Flyknit pattern. So these Brio cables run from the base of the sole into the lacing system. So when you pull those laces tight, it pulls on those cables, keeps your foot locked in place, and prevents any kind of really significant rollover in the shoe whatsoever. Like I said, it's surprisingly responsive. And because of how tight and kind of one-to-one -one it feels on your foot, the shoe feels a lot lighter than it actually is, and it's pretty light to begin with. Now, as far as touch is concerned, because it is flying it, because it is very thin, obviously you're gonna get more of a barefoot feel on the ball. It's not quite as thin as what you're gonna find from the Vapor 10 within the Mercurial line, but still definitely what I would consider to be a barefoot feel with a very, very, very small amount of padding, something that most people probably won't even notice. I uh, do have that Nike skin covering that does give it somewhat of a slightly grippy sensation on the ball, but honestly, it feels pretty slick for the most part. And then of course, ACC All Conditions Control acts as your wet control element Moving on to the rear portion of the shoe, you're gonna find an internal plastic heel counter. The inside does feature a synthetic leather liner with some padding that does take some getting used to if you haven't worn a mid-cut model from Nike before. 
The insole is fully removable. I'll take that out so you guys can get a look at it. It's just the standard Superfly 4 insole, mesh liner on top, perforations throughout. It's just a single layer of this gray foam, nothing too fancy, but it does get the job done. And then moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern, it of course does feature that carbon fiber sole plate, which is probably the coolest looking sole plate in the business at the moment. Um, Really, again, doesn't offer too many performance benefits that you wouldn't get from the Nike Mercurial Vapor 10 with its compressed nylon sole plate. The feel is pretty much the same, but like I said, it does look pretty cool, and uh, that's really all you need to know. Um, in regards to the stud pattern, it's a Mercurial stud pattern new for this particular lineup of Mercurials. They uh, have four studs in the heel, and then, of course, all bladed studs in the forefoot as well. Very aggressive traction, provides plenty of bite in pretty much any direction when you're pushing off. And if you're just looking for aggressive traction in general, you're definitely going to get that from the firm ground variation of the Superfly 4 for, of course, use on natural grass. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of tech specs and what you need to know performance wise about the Superfly 4. If you guys are looking for more information, you can check out the detailed written review on my website, um, which will be the very first link down below in the description. And I also leave an annotation on screen to my play test and traction test videos if you want to go ahead and check those out as well. So with that being said, let's move on to the weigh-in portion of this video so we can get a better idea as to how light these things are. In terms of weight, the Superfly 4 is of course a lightweight shoe. And to see exactly what they weigh, I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time using this particular scale. So keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 6.95 ounces, the equivalent of 197 grams. So again, they're going to provide a nice lightweight feel both in hand as well as on feet, especially on feet because of how snug and how kind of secure they feel when you pull those laces tight. And again, if you're looking for that lightweight sensation from your shoes, uh, the Mercurial line is going to provide that, especially the Superfly 4, although the Veloce 2 and Mercurial Vapor 10 are slightly lighter options if you're just going for the lightest possible shoe from the Mercurial range. All right, so here is a look at the Superfly 4s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock pink laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of reflective black Junior SR4U replacement laces. The reason why I went with Junior laces in a men's size 9 US shoe is because with the Superfly 4, as well as any of the mid-cut models from Nike, they tend to come with fairly long laces. And because of that, there's a lot of extra slack that you can't really tuck away anywhere or manage because of the mid-cut design of the shoe. With Junior length laces, they're a little bit shorter than the stock ones so when you do tie them up it's a lot less extra bulk on the top of your foot so depending on how much slack you have left over with the stock laces you may want to look into some junior laces if you want to eliminate that extra bulk on the foot that I just talked about so if you guys are interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself the place to go ahead and check out is www.sr4ulaces.com find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, uh, they're Superfly 4, so they have a nice tight fit. They're fairly sock-like from right out of the foot, and you will notice some stiffness in the heel from when they're brand new. Take your time with breaking these things in. That's the case with any of the mid-cut models from Nike, because like I said, the heel does feel a little bit stiff from out of the box. But as long as you take your time, take them off as soon as you start to feel any kind of significant discomfort, you shouldn't have too many issues with um, blistering, and they should be pretty well broken in after a couple hours of use. In regards to the overall fit of the shoe, of course it is a tighter fitting shoe. You'd expect that from the Mercurial line, so really no extra space on the inside whatsoever. You get that nice snug kind of one-to-one -one sensation on your foot. And of course that mid-cut design does give it somewhat of a seamless sensation, especially once they're broken in. In regards to width, it's a Mercurial, so again it's not particularly wide, so if you do have wide feet, definitely not the best option for you. And in terms of stretching, None of the Flyknit models from Nike really stretch at all. They maintain their shape, so the way they fit from right out of the box is the way they're gonna fit for their entire lifespan. In regards to sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Lightning Storm Nike Mercurial Superfly 4. Again, if you guys do want more information on the overall fit, feel, and performance, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you'll find the review itself. 
you'll find uh, high quality images of this particular pair that'll give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $275 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair for yourself, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding the Superfly 4, leave them down below in the comment section and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.